Hi, welcome to my lair. What does a fashion blogger and a bear both like in the winter? A good lair. Oh no. Hi, my name is Grace Helping. No, now you know your life is different now. This has been a trend I've seen on YouTube for a long time. People have been recreating each other's Instagram photos, and I thought today would be a great day to recreate some of my girl Mamrie Hart's Instagram photos. One, we have spent a ton of time together in the 10 plus years that we have known each other thus far. Two, she is currently out of town, and I know I will not see her until at least Monday, so I will not know if she thinks this sucks. But I've watched a lot of people do this, and I think I think it's really fun. I thought it would be really easy and it turns out this was very, very difficult. So that's it. That's the intro. Here's the video. God. Okay, we're in the parking garage of the shopping center that I'm going to. And a fun game that I play with myself is that the ticket for the parking garage is free if you shop within an hour. I know that's the time limit I'm giving myself. Also, I don't want to dick around here. My stomach doesn't feel that great. Yay, let's do it. Let's find some memory clothes. Okay, we made it out. Some things. Let's go back and try to recreate Mamrie's Instagram photos. I took longer than an hour. I have to pay $3. Like I said, we're back from shopping. We got some things to try to put together some semi-decent looks for some Mamrie Hart Instagram. But I think what I'm gonna do first is do some Mamrie makeup because all of the photos that I'm trying to recreate generally have the same type of makeup. Mamrie has big, bright blue eyes. I have brown shit eyes. She always has like a wing thick liner on top with like eyelashes and usually like a red or orange lip. So I'm gonna put some falsies on, ones that I already used from my last video. You might say cheap and or disgusting. I say resourceful and or eco-friendly. Earth Day is coming up. I'm a better person than you are. Deal with it. Let's put some lashes on and turn into Mamrie Heart. I figure if we just get a base Mamrie on, then we can try to jump from photo to photo. Also, it's like 6.30, 7 o'clock at night now and the sun is setting, so I might have to do some of these in the morning because some of them require outdoors with sun. Also, I'm trying to do them by myself, so <laughs> we'll see. And also, I don't want to leave my house to do them, so we're getting really real resourceful. When you look at Mary's Instagram, she doesn't have one of those, you know, millennial Gen Z themes going on, but you can definitely find some smaller themes. Car selfie. With beans. With cocktail. A cocktail with beans. And then you have a complete array of miscellaneous. I'm trying to pick some of them that I think I could try to do by myself with my resources. Okay, lashes are on. I'm gonna do the rest of my face with makeup and we'll be right back. Ta-da! I think I did a pretty... Yeah. I'm becoming Mamrie. I think I did a pretty standard Mamrie makeup look. We got big doughy eyes and big bread... and big bread lips. <laughs> now what do I do? Let's... let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, behind my face. Ha ha! So, the first Instagram photo we're gonna try and do, because it might take the most to do it by myself, is this one. She's supposed to do this one by itself before without any of the like promotion of a show. She's doing stuff on it and it's one of my favorite pictures of Mamrie. So I have two yellow skirts. Neither one of them have pocket because Mamrie's hands are in her pocket. We'll fake it. A blue tank top that looks like the one that she is wearing. I don't have a red wall to shoot in front of in my house nor do I want to leave my house to do this shoot. So, I'll probably try and find a plain white wall and shoot in front of that and see if we can Photoshop some Reddit. Okay, we have transformed into our ma- Yeah, there they are, hi friends. Into our memory inspired outfit, ha. Huh? Ooh, maybe I'll do it. Oh, this is the nook that I now have that just collects a bunch of shit. Maybe we'll do it in here. Hey look, that's normal-ish colors. Professional photographer shot this photo, so I'm working with a handicap here. After 200 photos, I think we got as close as we can get on this one. Ooh. Moving on. Okay, so now we're moving on to Mamrie's book cover. I have my hair so short to do a top bun, but let's try. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. I tried to look for a green shirt like hers in the book cover, and I couldn't find one anywhere I went. And then I realized I had this dress that I can just pretend is a shirt. She's got a blue background, and she is leaning on a, like a magenta table. I think I might just try and do it on this and see if I can put something on this table. Like I said, these are all a stretch. She has a fake Manhattan, who knows if it was real on the day of her shoot, uh, in her glass. I have this glass, but I don't have any cranberry juice or anything to put in it. Food coloring and water. Look, pretty close. Obviously, not the Mametown bun, close enough. Let's see what we can do with this photo. Okay, one still frame and that is gonna work. I, this is so hard by yourself. <laughs> Ooh. 
outfit change. This is just what I want to wear right now. The next one that I'm going to try and recreate is pretty simple. It's made me wearing a light pink hoodie and it says boiled peanuts. And I know for a fact that she made this herself with iron on letters because that's what we do. I have a light pink hoodie that I bought from H&M and a bunch of iron on letters and things and such. So let's see if I have enough to spell out boiled peanuts, shall we? I feel like everyone else doing these recreation videos has a much easier time. Perhaps because their blood type isn't, oh no. Let's get our iron and iron these letters on. Boiled peanuts. Whoa. Okay, the easy thing about this Instagram from Mamrie is that it's definitely just done as a selfie on her iPhone, so. Oh, she's in front of a dark background, so I can use, oh my god. Ooh, maybe this red lipstick is too much. I think it is. Okay, let me take off the red lipstick. There we go. What about some sort of coral lip, which is probably just her natural lip color, because she's a goddess. She's an effortless goddess. Let's, uh, let's try to, um, uh, take some selfies. Good morning, wow. It's the next morning, and like I said, I needed sunlight to shoot the last photo that I want to try to capture from Mamrie's Instagram, and if this gives you any indication of what it is, it's a ferocious one. It's one of my all-time favorite photos of Mamrie. It's gonna be a little difficult to try and capture by myself, but we've gotten this far, and I bought this from Forever 21, so we're gonna make it work. Oh God. So let's make some coffee and make our Mamrie face. Okay, so makeup is basically done. In the photo, she's got this like turquoise head wrap thing. I found this head wrap at Forever 21 yesterday. I mean, I could have searched a little bit harder and longer, but that's for dicks. <laughs> and this photo's clearly taken outside by a professional photographer in the sunshine. And right now in Los Angeles, it is so overcast. I have a little back patio in my house that I'm gonna set up to try and shoot the photos out there because I'm shy and I don't want to go into public to do it. So I don't have a chain link fence like she does, so we're taking some creative liberties. Let's set that up. I think we got it. We got it. We got it. There's my attempted recreation of some of my favorite photos on Mamrie Hart's Instagram. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go follow Mamrie's Instagram so you can fully appreciate and understand how much work goes into a seemingly effortless Mametown Instagram. Also leave a comment down below if there's anyone else that you think I should try to recreate the Instagram photos of because this was actually, albeit hard, very fun. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I make videos at least two a week-ish. So hit that bell notification so you know when those go up because no one knows. I don't even know. And with that, I don't know. You know that you're a crazy person, aka influencer, when you drink your coffee out of a mug with a photo of your own dog on it. And not only your own dog, but your dog wearing merchandise that you used to sell. Oh, while you're wearing a hoodie with your own Twitter handle on it. Oh, I've become a parody. <laughs>